Peace and blessings to those in D.C., Maryland, Virginia, and beyond. My name is Sam P.K. Collins. I am the founder and host of All Eyes on D.C., a D.C.-based grassroots media network dedicated to the trials and tribulations and successes of Africans living in the United States and all around the world. Uh, today's All Eyes on D.C. segment we present to you in the spirit of Sankofa. With us today is none other than Ms. Natalie Brunskin Moore. She is the founder and CEO of Delivering Good Health Community Services International. With her 501c3, she has been able to send back numerous medical supplies to her home country of Liberia, located in West Africa. Uh, she has been in the United States for the last 15 years, working as a registered nurse, and in her capacity, she has been able to use her education to help those back home. Uh, today, she's going to talk more uh, to us about her, her craft, about her organization, and just about the relationship between what's going on back home and here in America. Welcome to All Eyes on D.C. Thank you, Sam. It's Appreciate very it. nice to have you here. So please tell us more about your organization. Uh, when you're talking about delivering medical supplies, how does that look? Uh, what we do is that we uh, request... Uh, uh, medical supplies from uh, hospitals and uh, in and around America. Uh, we collect those medical supplies donated by the hospitals and uh, place them into uh, storages. And uh, after we have accumulated uh, much more that can, uh, we feel that can fill up a 40 foot container, we then request a container and ship them to Africa. Right now, I receive medical supplies from Mesta Georgetown University Hospital. So far, they are the only one that really gave us medical supplies. And individuals that have uh, 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 supplies that they don't use anymore and that is not expired. And they will donate it to us also uh, and we will ship them to Liberia because those supplies are highly, highly needed in Africa, most especially Liberia. I don't doubt that at all. Uh, tell us, how long is that process from uh, seeking out the materials to gathering them, waiting for them to accumulate before packaging it? It's about five to six months. Okay. Because uh, we have to, I mean, we receive those supplies as, you know, they give it to us. And anyway, they have to call us and make sure that you know, we, uh, uh, what, whatsoever they gave us, that what we accept. But uh, we, um, and we cannot refuse it. Definitely. So some of those supplies are ready, cannot be used in Liberia. But with the sets and equipment that is in one package, like if we have a surgery kit, like a uh, tricky or stomach whole kit, what we do is that we, if they extract those things that, can be used for something else from the kit gotcha. to be able to use in you know, gotcha. uh, in, in, in So you talk a little bit about the supplies. Uh, I see to our right over there we have uh, quite a bit of what you would send to Liberia. Uh, if you wouldn't mind just you know going through the box a little bit and just pointing out to us sure. the supplies. Sure. These are uh, Destro five percent uh, uh, sodium chloride okay what does that do what uh, that it's do? for hydration it's for uh, diluting a uh, certain medication like uh, if you have uh, uh, antibiotic going into you have to run into you and stuff like that if they have to hang your fluid uh, they have to hang it uh, in the side of the mini bag so called destro okay. and uh, we have a uh, wound supply kit Okay. Uh, the way we, we have, we uh, you have uh, the plenty. I, if I can open one of it, it will be. I mean, I can show you. Sure. It's a whole kit that we have. We have gloves, and all these are sterile. Mm -hmm. We have our, uh, I mean, our mats in it. We have. This is what we use to clean the wound. It's okay. a sterile. If you click onto this tool, there's a fluid that comes out, and, and you know, and, be, and and you can clean the wound wow. and stuff. And uh, and these are the um, uh, the let's say um, bandit yeah. in the form of 
And uh, so that's what we have a lot of uh, a box boxes of these. Good stuff, yeah. To knit that by George Town. I see some nutrients right here. Uh, yeah, so. we have. Uh, I mean, these are nutritional drinks. Okay. You know, uh, high protein nutritional for, with fiber in okay. it. Okay. You know, I mean. I mean, the people are dehydrated there. They mm -hmm. have, I mean, they are mad nutrited. Nutri nutri yeah. You know, they don't have, uh, so they need, they need for uh, this nutritional drink. Once you tell them when they are in the house, if you, if you visit my website, you will see Definitely. what I'm telling you or what I'm trying to talk about. Definitely. So, uh, these are some we have our laboratory culture tube. Okay. And uh, we, we do send two. To Liberia. What's that for, if you don't mind me asking? This is uh, this is for culture. This is a cultural vibe. Okay. That way, for example, if they're testing, they want to they want to find out if you having if you have certain virus or whatever it is. Yeah. You they pull your blood out and put it into this and, and kind of test it, run it through the test lab and find out that you have we have this and this is anaerobic and aerobic testing. Okay. Too. So you know um, these are medical supplies. No, we take and these are all sorry i'm sorry no, no and these problem. are all i mean these are just a different form for our folds we have our, our surgery kits we have gowns we have gloves we have our personal hygiene yeah. like our, our mouth wash toothbrush toothpaste and 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 stuff like that how many boxes would you say are here right now for the next well, right here was just no this this is just a little bit of what we have okay collected. just a little bit just <laughs> a little bit of what because what we yeah. collect it we, we put in 40 foot container okay a, a container that takes like four or five cards three three wow. cards that's the three to four cards wow yeah and so we ship them i mean we have when we collect medical supply for the this entire place yeah. and then for another place that's quite a lot yes so i want to touch on a point real quick before and you okay before you continue so you know you're talking about uh your donors pretty mm -hmm. much yes. um and trying to convince them to give these medical supplies uh have you often found um difficulty you know in convincing them that librarians need this uh, yes we have mm -hmm. because i mean um most especially we get the medical supplies it's not too bad most especially from georgetown they gave me enough yeah. i don't even have to stretch my hands out there to other 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 hospitals but what we really need is the drugs the medication okay it is not easy i mean people when i when i the first two continents that we ship i had to travel with it and when i went with it I mean, people had hypertension that they didn't even know, high mm -hmm. blood pressure. They had high blood sugar. There was a maternity nurse that had a, lot, a pregnant woman, like about 20, 30 pregnant women in line. And she was the only nurse that examining them and testing right. and seeing them. And that nurse, just looking at how she felt, she was looking so weak and dizzy. And I was like, what's going on? Are you okay? She said, I'm not feeling too well. And I told her that, but you had all these people to... You she have all these people works. too, so you know. So I thought she was yeah. just tired, but anyways, checking her blood pressure and her blood sugar, she had, her blood sugar was five hundred, mm. and your normal blood sugar is from sixty to a hundred. Mm. So it was more than five times. It was normal. more than five times the normal, and the good thing about it, my uh, primary care physician gave me some uh, sample drugs okay. for high blood pressure, for high blood sugar and stuff, and we have to give her a bottle. Mm. And she took her medication we have asked her to see her doctor and what's the doctor she had to see i mean she just exactly i wanted yeah. to ask you about that you know at the height of the of the ebola outbreak that's mm -hmm. when the world's attention finally turned to liberia's precarious medical situation yes. from what i understand um this might be an outdated number now there might be one doctor for a million or so people exactly. or something i mean like yeah one doctor may be for about a hundred plus patients yeah uh 300 plus patients yeah yeah so three three four five hundred plus patients because all oh, a million patients exactly yeah. so would you mind going into more detail about that you know what are you what are you seeing on the ground when you go back oh. to liberia it is so devastated there that you know it's 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 i cannot really go into detail explaining yeah because we're going to take all day here uh, yeah. i'm telling you because of the poor healthcare condition in liberia most people die only from high blood pressure and high blood sugar the stroke patient are like this every day aneurysm happen like this so you know because your blood is pumping so high 
you know, and the blood, I mean, it affects your blood vessel in your brain and stuff like that, and you get a, a, a bust blood vessel, and yeah. you know, people die from that. From that. But uh, the doctors, if I mean, every patient that goes to the hospital, they have government hospital, okay. but it's not government hospital anymore mm. because they have to pay. Mm. I mean, if they go there for treatment, they have to come up with some money, and because of that, they stay home. How much are you talking? Um, I mean, maybe, I mean, in I mean, U.S. equivalent from the Liberian dollar to U.S. dollar, you yeah. have to if you are going to for a doctor visit just to see, maybe you will have to pay. Uh, maybe you have to have like five, six hundred U.S. Liberian uh, dollar, Liberian dollar, which is maybe about fifty or you know something American dollar, and you can, they don't have it. That's yeah, the point. Definitely. they just don't have a dollar U.S. dollar, a yeah, dollar. Right. Talk less of having. Fifty dollars. Right. So what they do is that if they have like a twenty-five Liberian dollar or a dollar US, which is maybe will be maybe fifty uh, US. I mean fifty Liberian dollar. Right. They rather go and buy a cup of rice for the family and kids gotcha. to eat. So health usually goes to the wayside. You're 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 usually thinking about the immediate needs. The immediate needs exactly. Yeah. They rather cater to the kids, right. put food on the table. And, and and I mean then go into the hospital and so what we as an organization trying to do right now with the healthcare aspect is to build a tent a uh, uh, boot a tent that they can go freely in uh, we have a nurse and a doctor there three three that's a three times a week mm -hmm. three days a week mm -hmm. To, uh, to uh, monitor the vital signs, gotcha. check the blood sugar, check the blood pressure, and we'll have somebody there sitting to educate them if it is how, what to do, and yeah. what not to do. We will also we try, we will also have some over the counter pills mm -hmm. medication there okay. that can sustain them for the short time, you know, or some. Uh, and uh, if we can get more, what we're trying to do, if we can get medication in, then we will have the medication because we have a doctor there. That, that visit that Definitely. you know but we don't have the, the medication that question you know and before i continue i just want to commend you you know for really thinking of your home country you know oftentimes from what i've seen in my personal experiences and just talking to other um you know just talking to other people who immigrate to america and other so-called developed countries you know they come here they get full they get their money and they oftentimes forget about what's going on back home you know, so I really want to, you know, just thank you, you know, for really taking the chance to look back home and really build something there. You know, how often, you know, um, just talking about, you know, that in general, um, how often do you see Liberians or just Africans in general um, looking back home when they come here using their, to use their professional services? to help those back home in the manner that you have the thing i mean, I mean first of all i give glory to god mm -hmm. you know i mean i know where i came from